There is still plenty of summer left to fit in a vacation. So you're thinking about flying, might be wondering what has changed and what hasn't as these pandemic restrictions have eased up. So we have some advice this morning on that and other summer travel ideas with Kyle Potter, executive editor of the Thrifty Traveler. Kyle, good morning. Good morning. I know a lot of people have gotten back onto a plane, but many people still holding off. Uh, if you're thinking about it, what has and hasn't changed when it comes to flying? You know, the, the big thing that's still around that, that might be new to people who haven't flown, um, you know, in the last year and change is, is the obvious one. It's masks. Uh, masks are still required. Um, according to the current federal regulations, they're going to be required through at least September 13th. Um, you know, beyond that, though, there really has been a big sea change just within the last few months where, you know, to me and to the people that I talk to and our readers and, and fellow travelers, people really feel that for better or worse, a lot of the travel experience feels pretty darn close to normal. Um, you know, the other big change, there aren't as many flights out there. So if you're looking to fly from one city to the next, you know, you may only have a couple of times to choose from still. That's been a big change that we've seen just over the past, um, you know, year. But beyond that, you know, a lot of it feels pretty similar to where it was at pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I finally took my first flight a couple weeks ago, and I totally agree. It, it felt, other than wearing the mask during the flight, uh, it, it, felt, it felt the same. You went to Spain. What's international travel like? Uh, first things first, it's complicated. Um, you know, there, you know, it's not as simple as just having your passport and heading to Europe and hopping around wherever you want to go anymore. While, you know, many countries throughout Europe, in fact, most of Europe at this point is now welcoming Americans. You know, there is a slew of different regulations for what you need. Do you need a vaccine card? Do you need a COVID test? Do you need both? Um, and it varies from country to country to country. So the biggest thing that I just have to stress for people who are even entertaining a trip to Europe is you have to not just double, but triple and quadruple check those entry requirements because it can make your trip complicated really fast. Kyle, we know for a long time there were a ton of deals out there when people weren't traveling all that much. Uh, they seem to have <laughs> gone away a bit. Can you still get deals right now for this summer? Absolutely. Um, you know, it, it has gotten harder, but, you know, that's really only because for, you know, most of the last year and change, finding a cheap flight was like shooting fish in a barrel with dynamite. Now, you know, it's a little bit harder, but the deals are still out there. Just yesterday at thriftytraveler.com, we posted a flight deal from Minneapolis to Rome for five hundred and twelve dollars. Wow. Um, that is that is a deal that you do not typically find. And right. even if you're looking at traveling domestically, you know, we're still finding fares to Las Vegas, you know, cities throughout California and Florida for under a hundred dollars round mm -hmm. trip here from Minneapolis. So the deals are still out there. Don't buy into the hype that airfare is just skyrocketing across the board. And just keep looking out there. All right, Kyle, great to have you with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. And you can go to WCCU.com slash links to check out Thrifty Travelers deals and their travel tips.